With the Olympics coming to an end, we have the hardcourt season back up and running, the US Open hardcourt series. Usually this time of year we're watching that, but unfortunately because of the Olympics, we haven't been able to watch it yet. But with Canada, it's a big 1000 event coming up next week, but unfortunately, a lot of players have withdrawn, so let's go see who's not playing next week. We're starting on the women's side, a long, long list, starting with Kostea. She's pulled out. Danielle Collins, unfortunately, is also pulled out. Garcia and Krajikova have also pulled out. Paulini, she won't play next week. Rabakin has also pulled out. Now, she didn't play the Olympics, but unfortunately, because of illness, she can't play. Zachary's also pulled out. Fiontek, of course, the big name, not playing because she just played the bronze medal match and deserves a week off. Vekic also not playing, making the final, of course, of the Olympics. So it's a bit too much of a quick turnaround. And Von Drusova also pulling out. Unfortunately, she also pulled out of the Olympics. So an ongoing injury there for Vondi, but very awkward that you know a lot of these players can't play this 1000 event because of the olympics so it's a really unfortunate event for canada we're missing some big superstars there over on the men's side the list is just as long with alcaraz pulling out of course making the final of the olympics he won't be able to get to canada in time baez also pulling out so did sarundalo demon or he has also pulled out with injury because of course he didn't play the olympics in the singles he did play the doubles but didn't play the singles due to that injury he got at wimbledon Djokovic has also decided not to play again making the final of the olympics so a smart choice there Hechka's also pulled out. He's been injured since before the French Open, so an ongoing back issue there for him. We've said he's also pulled out after doing well at the Olympics. Struff and Zhang have also pulled out of this tournament due to multiple reasons, so... Man, a big list there. And there's a lot of players that are also a question mark as well due to injury and also due to play in the Olympics. So really, really sad to see that we're not going to get a lot of these big names playing this tournament, which is such a big tournament leading up to the US Open. So there it is. They are the players that are not playing. Of course, there's some players like Zhang, for example, who is playing the gold medal match today. It's going to be interesting to see if she plays in Canada next week. I doubt it very much that she'll play next week. But who do you going to miss the most? Because we've got some big names missing there. Djokovic, Alcaraz. Triontek Rabakina, just to name a couple, but there are big names still playing. We've got Sinner playing next week. He's the defending champion, of course. Didn't play the Olympics, so he can play this one, I guess. Savalenka's also going to play next week, which is good to see. She played this week in Washington as well, so it's not going to be totally a void of uh, superstars. There are still going to be some big names, but it's not going to be as big as a 1,000 event should be, with a lot of those top 10 players not playing. But there it is, the Canadian withdrawal list. A lot of players not playing next week.